have no drive, no drive to be anything or be anybody or to do anything. Hey creators, welcome back to the studio. I'm Aramis the artist. Did y'all miss me? I miss y'all. Like, <laughs> I'm happy to be back. In full transparency, it is still June, okay? <laughs> but I did take like a little, a little week off, maybe like a week or two, kind of give, give myself a breather. But um, yeah, I'm like, actually just pick the camera right back up. So when I'm not in the garden, I'm in a studio, okay? Doing a damn thing. Does she have, of course, of course, it's a little cray in here because she's on the journey, but let me show y'all what I'm working on. I'm pouring this piece. I just love like when the colors get to bleed in. Giving. Oh, it's the drippies for me. a new painting a big one okay <laughs> really big one first of all if you new here welcome boo okay i'm Irma's hamer i'm a full-time artist working in seattle washington i love painting large-scale cosmic queens and all the colorful things okay and i just got back from a month-long break on youtube just so that i could reset recenter get my mind in alignment get those chakras in alignment okay there were so many events it was my birthday weekend my family came in town we had the uh the private reception for the mohai exhibit this painting is so huge. I am beyond grateful for Andy because he built me a custom stretcher bars. So I put them on the lift in my studio. I don't think y'all have ever even seen my studio, like sort of the ins and outs of it on the gram. So this is where it all goes down. I put my canvases or paintings on this lift and then I take them back to my studio. It is like a dope corridor, y'all. Shout out to Ryan, he's one of the artists in our studio. Speaking of my studio, we have an open studio event coming up on June. 10th where about I think maybe 10 to 15 artists are opening their doors and um, yeah y'all can see what we create where it all goes down and my studio is all the way down at the end of the hallway so I had to get my frames now mind you these were the frames that was at the zodiac show so but it had some nicks <laughs> some some damages okay so just with some of those scratches, I just used some spray paint to cover up those spots. And so this is the frame that the painting is gonna be displayed in at the Mohai Show. And that is taking place at the Museum of History and Industry, which is going to be on June, June 4th. Super excited for that. We had to rent a U-Haul box truck, y'all, because the painting was so big. I am in love with this museum. Mohai is just so incredible and the staff was so sweet and they got like ducks, ducks or geese, <laughs> whichever one. Yeah, everybody was so amazing and I cannot wait. Y'all, June is jam packed. Make sure you check my website so you can see where it all goes down. The initial work that I wanted was taller than these walls. Oh. And so, had a crisis, had to text Aramis like, girl, <laughs> we gotta choose another painting. And she was like, oh, no problem, I have this one. And then Sonoy and I were like, this is huge. <laughs> <laughs> All these huge works of this show. How are we gonna do it? But through our amazing install team and Sonoy's good counsel and her ability to keep me calm, we made it work. This painting for me is just absolutely, absolutely stunning. The colors are bold, the dress, <laughs> All the different things, okay? But your girl is ready to enter her hot heel summer, okay? Yes, it's it's giving hot girl summer, hot heel summer, okay? Because we ready. Hey, 
y'all i am too geek because the proofs for the for the art prints came for the healing arts collection oh my god i cannot wait they actually come in a tube actually so if you ever y'all probably see me like kind of pack them but if you ever do order anything on my shop they do come in a tube and the tip that i use to help flatten them i just put them in between my mattress okay sleep on them think good thoughts put good energy good vibes like first of all there's already good vibes in them and so i feel like they help with your dreams okay i don't know when i'm launching these to tell you the truth like i'm just still trying to figure life out but y'all you know the epiphany that i had the other day like i have no drive <laughs> i have no i have no drive to be anything or be anybody or to do anything first i mean clearly i do like i mean i'm here you know like we showing up but i think it is coming from a different place it's coming from a different energetic place that feels more I was gonna say balance, but that's not even the word. It just feels like a calm place. Like it's not this anxiety place like where I'm trying to prove something or like validate or like do whatever. Like I was talking to Andy and so I've been going to the gym, but like I'm barely breaking a sweat. Like at this point, I just go for my mental health. I feel like going to the gym is a true antidepressant. It's an anti-anxiety. It's a mood stabilizer. It is like an endorphins release. Like I'm not, I don't, I don't even have any goals. <laughs> like I have, I have nobody goals i have no like goals <laughs> i'm like is this is this what it feels like when you love yourself when you just like yeah you know like i'm good i'm good <laughs> or is this laziness i don't i don't know it, it might be a combination of both but it's funny because when i when i look back at just different states that I, that I was in and just different emotional processes that i was having and i'm just like man like you were really trying to prove something or you were really trying to overcompensate or be something that somebody else thought that you needed to be and so to now be on the other side of that and now of course I definitely feel like we're constantly on this journey of life and like nothing's ever perfect I'm always going we just we just gonna always have something and I don't think that there's nothing wrong with that but it can come from a different place like it doesn't have to come from from anger or trying to like prove yourself or trying to like you know prove those people wrong who teased you or like like whatever chip you have on your shoulder like those chips get heavy <laughs> like the chips get heavy you know so it's just like what if you could still okay so i think that's what i'm thinking it's not like i don't have any drive like i'm just not about to show up in life like oh i'm just whatever like i'm just not about to do anything you know it's like i'm still pursuing the same goals that i had and i'm still executing in the same way but it's just a different energy behind it it's like this pleasantness <laughs> that 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 feels really good but i'm just like resting in the peace and resting in the work that i've done on myself and just yeah, so that's why we just we just entering like the healing girl summer. Like I'm here for it and it can be a place of joy and, and rest and restoration and creativity. Yeah, like everything's been growing in the backyard and like the roses have been like, oh my God, if y'all been following me on TikTok, then you probably been seeing your girl has been in the garden and I've just been having a ball back there. And so now I'm just, I'm just truly romanticizing my life, you know, and not from any other outside perspective, you know. I think with some of the some of the things that we might do in life, it's like, oh, are we doing this for somebody else or like why are we doing it? But for somebody who genuinely likes taking hot baths, putting on, you know, putting on a little eyeshadow just cause, you know, like when you when you just like some of those things, it's not it's not about anybody else. It's not about like, oh, you're subjecting yourself to the patriarchy or you're, you're giving in to these Eurocentric beauty standards. Like whatever. It's just like, y'all like life can be fun. You know, it can it can be really fun and I'm just yeah, I'm just here having fun and I'm just like, oh, let's open these. So these are 18 by 24. Man, I really like these. <laughs> I really like these. Where was the other size? Oh, these were the smaller sizes. So that's kind of like the size difference. Should we have a middle one in between that size? It goes from kind of like small to big, huh? Mm, it is what it is. <laughs> Look, bang. If you really want the big one, hit me up for the original. Hit me up. Mm, mm. Look, you trying to be a collector? <laughs> shout out to my collector. Yo, shout out to Estelle. Oh my God, Estelle. She literally just hit me up in the DMs to acquire this original. 
she actually has one of my originals already and yeah y'all just so grateful just so grateful for my collectors for my community for my supporters look for y'all being here shout out to the subscribers shout out to the tim team Super excited for tonight. Y'all, I haven't live painted in, it's been a minute. Super honored though to be a part of this project. Okay, my name on both sides. We got a package. Let me get some scissors. So y'all, this company reached out to me because they saw my enamel pen video. Let me know if y'all found me from that video. I actually really like doing enamel pens. Um, but anywho, I might, I might bring them back. And so that's why I actually agreed to them sending me this. So they pretty much like customize any and everything. Like pins, like writing pins, enamel pins, stickers, buttons. I think they even do like awards, you know? Like if you get like a company, you wanna get in something for like an employee of the month, you know? Okay, that's what it is. Leading manufacturer of custom promotional gifts. Yeah, so GSJJ. This is all of their info too. So if you didn't see that video, then I created some enamel pins doing the V, a panda pin, and the mama's gun pin, a mural that I had did at the um, at a Seattle location out here. And so I actually asked them to reproduce one of those same pins so I could kind of do like Pepsi challenge to see how they compare to a wizard pen. Because actually I remember somebody commented on that video and was asking like, do I know of a different company besides wizard pen? So I was like, I actually did it. So it was actually kind of nice when they reached out because I got to test it here. Ooh, y'all, I think it's, I haven't even opened them all the way, but it's looking good. Okay, hold on. Get in close. Let's experience this together. Ooh. These are really nice. This is really nice. Yeah, these are looking really good. They actually looking about the same as Wizard Pen. You know, like I'm not sure how these companies work, you know, so, you know, at the end of the day, it kind of be all the same manufacturer. It be the same people kind of making these things with different names on them. So I don't know, they actually look exactly like wizard pins. Pins, I guess it would all just come down to price, you know, and how it, how it kind of worked out. These are really great. So maybe I could do like some price comparisons for y'all to see how it sort of compares, but like overall quality wise, I'm here for it. And they, they sent me a whole baggie of them custom pins. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with them. Probably tell the patrons what I'm what I'm doing with them. So stay tuned for whatever happens with these pins. I have 25 of them, so we'll see. So shout out to GSJJ for sending me some enamel pins. I have been painting y'all and I've been having so much fun in the creative process. Can you see this? It is super glary, but yeah, I'm kind of working with some texture, doing some locks really vibing out. You can't really see the face, but I sketched out 
a face. I've actually been using myself as a muse, per use. It's so crazy that it's like per use now when, if y'all saw the video where I talked about from being 23 to 33 and just the transitions that I was going through there and just like building my confidence. And it's funny that now I'm saying it's like, oh, of course I'm, I'm painting myself per usual. Like that was, that actually was not usual. That was that was not my usual for a long time. And I'm just, I'm just really grateful for the journey, you know? And so it's not that I lost drive or that I'm unmotivated or like, I just don't care. Like, it's not even about that. Now it's just like, I'm not searching for validation. You know, like I'm not searching anymore for anything outside of me. I'm not searching for some award to win, a grant to win, recognition from a certain institution, recognition on all these different platforms, recognition from just anybody, my friends, my family, like whatever. Like like just when you have a sense of security within yourself, like everything else just feels like a bonus. It just feels like a cherry on top. It's like, great, yeah, like cool, like, yeah, like hey, thank you for affirming what I already knew about myself, you know? But it took it took a journey for me to get there and so now I just feel a peace. I really feel a peace and I'm super grateful for that. And now I just wanna, I just wanna create, I just wanna share. I'm just about to get as creative and artsy and as weird as I wanna be and as whatever I wanna do because Nobody's stopping me for me. Like, <laughs> nobody's stopping me for me. Nobody's stopping me but me, you know? And I think I've just gotten to a point where I started to really peel back the layers. And y'all, like this, y'all, this is why self-awareness is key. Like, know thyself, man. And it's just like, when I started to realize, you know, there were certain things that I wanted to do and I wasn't doing it. I was like, why are you, Why? okay, why are you not doing it? And I was like, well, like, how would that look? Like, just, yeah, just worried about other people, to tell you the truth, worried about other people. And then when you get to a, when you just get to a place of just not seeking external validation, not worried about what nobody think, just really embodying that full self-love, self-acceptance, and self-awareness of knowing what is good for you. You know, because sometimes we have ideas where it's like, oh, I would love to do this, you know? Yo, are we going there? <laughs> Are we having a chat? Like, look, welcome back, okay? Look, you, your girl is in a chat mood. Is she getting warm? <laughs> She's getting warm. I think self-awareness is key too, y'all. And like, I'm. this is for me, okay? Y'all know all these talks be for me. I be, I be needing to process my own thoughts, but it's just like, I'm coming to the self-awareness of also like, I don't have to do everything. Okay, like just because I see somebody else doing something, I can be inspired by that person and let that person live their best life. When I sit and reflect, I be like, man, I actually really want a simple life. Like I just want to create, <laughs> you know? So that's what your girl has been doing. I have been loving this time where I have just been creating y'all. I've been pouring paint like crazy and I have been recording a process for y'all. So I can't wait to share that with you. I hope this has inspired you on your journey. I'm glad to be back. Let me know how y'all been in the comments, what y'all up to, are y'all having the reflections? But y'all, thank y'all so much. And of course, always a super duper, duper special shout out to my patrons who are making it possible for me. Thank you so much to them. Is it on this side? Whatever size it's on thank you so much to my patrons they are making this incredible abundant creative life possible for me and I'm so grateful for them and of course if you would like to contribute to my craft I will put all those links below remember if you like this video like it and I'll see you all next week oh she back she back she back <laughs>